today I'm going to show you how I made this IDW TMNT RAF. So I'm starting with the best action figure. These are dope figures, but I like to make them my own. I'm going to change his face. First I took off his belt. It was easy enough. I could just tear off the glue at the uh, like base of his stomach there and uh, it just came off. While I had the stuff out, this guy fell off the shelf and then the super glue wasn't enough to hold the back of the bandana on so I used a little bit of the epoxy sculpt since I had it out. Now I'm flattening out uh, what I have left of it to do the faces because the face are just a little too small and I don't really like the face they're making is one face well with the mouth closed it looks really weird so I'm just cutting off a little thin piece at a time and then I do one chin and then I do the other chin and let it dry a bit before I go back to that head to do the nose and then just go back and forth because when it dries a little it's easier to work with than when it's wet when I'm smoothing it out and then if I kept adding stuff it would just mess it up but uh, uh, I keep at it one little piece at a time, do each cheek a little, and then with what I had left, I made a couple little bags or pouches, and it takes about 24 hours to dry. I probably waited like 18, and I can start sanding. I'm just sanding with a nail file, and I cut it on an angle down the center so I could have this shape to get in the grooves and that works well. It's very inexpensive. Now I have um, matte acrylic varnish and I'm covering everything with that and that's gonna work as my primer. I wanna go really light on the weapons because they're already really hard to fit in the hand so I don't wanna put a lot on there. Now I cut this because I don't like the big strap going across. It's a little too bulky, it's already pretty big but in uh, the one photo I found where he had the strap, he had it like hanging on the side or he might've been holding it but I'll show it or I already yeah, I'll show some more of it after, I think, or I already did. But this is a cinnamon brown, and I'm just going over all the brown spots. On his front shell, I got mostly in the cracks, but then a little bit light on everywhere else, because that's going to be uh, raw sienna. But first, I'm going with gray. I just mixed black and white, and I'm dry brushing on all his wraps to make all the details pop out more and make them look a little, you know, weathered and used and uh, battle tested. And also I do all the hands, the separate hands. There's lots of hands, even though I never change hands or heads, but uh, a little bit on each. And I had an extra one because Leo and him had the same hands and I only painted three of Leo's hands. And uh, I was gonna just keep one set unpainted, but I wasn't paying attention. I didn't wanna pick which set, so I just painted them all for Raph. Now I have a raw sienna and I'm just going over all the chest and the sides. And now I'm painting with uh, bark brown for all the leather places. Or uh, I'd already painted uh, bark brown on his uh, belts and stuff. And then I dry brush everything with the raw sienna and that'll make it look weathered and stuff. And this is a uh, hunter green. So I'm going in all the shadow or darker places with this, just a little like under the mouth and uh, under his chin and stuff. And now I'm going in all the gaps and I'm gonna get just a little bit in all the cracks and the definition. And then when I lightly paint over it with the uh, lighter green later, you'll still see some of the darker green showing through. And then I'll make it look, uh, you'll be able to see more detail. So that's so far. Now I have uh, clover green for his main skin color. I gave them all a different shade of green, trying to match them in the comics. Getting there now with this uh, lighter green, I'll put uh, two coats on the faces, because and now I'm getting, you see all the details popping out and then when I go over the gray. So I got this set of the four best action uh, gray version, or I think they're called the black and white version, but they're gray and uh, a little bit of black and only their eyes are white but some of them, the eyes are white with gray irises. None of their eyes have pupils. I have the battle, what's it called? Battle something edition and uh, battle ready, no battle tested, battle damaged. The ones where they look all greasy and Raph was the best set of all of those. So mine's gonna look kind of like that one, but I gave him the face from that comic. So in the one face I painted the eyes white because I didn't like the eyes that he had and one face already had white eyes. And I have a bright red I'm going over his bandana and uh, the bandana back just to make it a little brighter and to also to add some paint so it doesn't look plasticky. Yeah, and now I have a toothpick that I'm using as a 
like a paintbrush but like a paint pen I'm just dipping it in a little bit of silver and getting all the details on his belts there's some buckles and stuff and buttons and I get them all and the little details like that really make everything pop out more that's a version where he's got some metal uh, clasps on his uh, pouches on his belt and now I'm covering everything with the final coat of matte acrylic varnish just to seal everything up and blend everything together and uh, just one really light coat of like different browns on the uh, tontos yeah I think that's what it's called uh, so many names for so many different weapons it's hard to and so many of them sound so similar to each other it's hard to keep track and um I gotta put them all together I guess so I just squeeze legs together and get that belt on I don't need any glue if it's nice and tight and now I gotta get this other belt onto his side so I try just gluing it but because there's ridges on the belt it doesn't have a lot of place for the glue to connect and the like rubbery plastic or silicone or whatever the belt is made out of doesn't really love the glue so I drill a small hole through both pieces the size of a toothpick and then I stick the toothpick in and let it, the glue dry and cut the toothpick off and painted that little spot silver and now I glue one bag on the other side for uh, symmetry and because in the comics he usually has more pouches. So that's him. It's all done and ready to go. He was the last of the four brothers that I did. I usually save him for last because usually he's the one I want to do most. So I haven't even put that other head on yet. I don't like it because you have to like heat it up with a hair dryer to change the heads. If it's not easy to change the heads and you have to heat it up and possibly melt or warp your toy, just give him only one head. I mean, I like having lots of heads because I'll put it on something else, but then I never do. I just make a head from scratch. Anyway, got a cool diorama I'm gonna be doing next week and uh, until then remember always keep your head up peace